All right, 7.4, find missing sides of similar triangles. Given similar triangles, students will be able to find missing sides of the triangles using proportions because similar triangles have proportional sides. So here we have two triangles that are similar. We have the blue triangle and we have the red triangle. And we got to look for corresponding parts. And we can do that by looking at this statement here. We could just kind of look at the triangles and I could see for example, I see that JL corresponds to AC because <clears throat> these look like the legs. And 17.5 is the shorter, or 17.5 is the shorter out of these two, and 14 is the shorter out of these two. So I think these two correspond. But I can also look and see that JL, JL corresponds to the first two letters here, which is AC. So I can say that I know that JL is going to correspond to AC in the same way that what am I trying to solve for? Well, I'm trying to solve for R, so that's AB. So I'm going to just put AB down here because that's the red triangle. And what do I know that AB corresponds to? Well, that's the long side. The long side here is JK, so that corresponds to JK. So that is the proportion that I can set up to solve this. Okay, again, JL corresponds to AC. JL corresponds to AC. And JK? corresponds to AB, so that's why I can set it up like so. Now let's just fill in what I know. Well, I know that JL is 17.5, and I know that JK is 32.5. I know that AC is 14, and I know that AB is R. And now I just have a real simple proportion to solve. Uh, we've done a few of these before in class, and there's lots of different ways to do it. We can cross multiply and divide, right? We can multiply and multiply and then divide. But what I like to do is, if my variable's on the bottom, I like to just flip both of these. So I'm going to just flip them, so that means I'm going to have a 14 on top equals an R on top, and now it's going to be over 17.5, and the R is going to be over 32.5. So all I did is flip both sides. You're allowed to do that as long as you do it to both sides. Now I'm looking at what's happening to my R. My R is now being divided by 32.5, so I'm just going to multiply by 32.5 on both sides. That cancels, and now i got my R all by myself, all by itself. And so now it's just a simple calculation. I'm just going to go on my calculator and do 32.5 times 14 and divide it all by 17.5. So 32.5 times 14 is 455, and that divided by 17.5 is... 26. So R equals 26. And again, I got that 26 just from calculating this expression here. All right, and so I found the missing side just by setting up a proportion and solving the way we know how to solve proportions. Pretty easy. Okay, so I wanted you to try the next one. Next one's a tad bit more complicated in that we have expressions here and expressions here. And they're not asking for x. They're asking for this distance and this distance. So after you find x, you're going to plug it back in to find a, e, and d, e. So I want you to go ahead and try that. Um, pause the video, give it a try, and then when you're ready, unpause it, and I'll show you how to work it out. OK, so the first thing I did is I had to set up a proportion, and I saw the 2 corresponds to this side, 5, so I said 2 is to 5, as x minus 1 is to this side of x plus 5. Um, this is not just a simple one that I can just flip and solve really quick because there's variables in both, so I have to cross multiply. I get this expression, um, then I have to distribute, and then I have to just use some algebra, and I finally solve and I get x equals 5. From there, I'm just going to plug that back into the two expressions I know. So if I plug in a 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. If I plug in a 5 here, 5 plus 5 is 10. And so now I have the two links that I'm looking for. All right, let's go on to example number 2. This one just says solve for x. Now this is one that students make a lot of mistakes on. So we still have similar triangles, and therefore we have proportional parts. So we just need to set up a proportion. So I'm going to talk about this smaller triangle in red. And that's a pretty dang good job of tracing that triangle, if I do say so myself.
So we'll talk about the smaller triangle in red and we'll talk about the bigger triangle in blue. The common mistake here is to think that the five is the only part of the bigger triangle that matters, but it's not. The bigger triangle, if you think about it, this side is not just five or x, it's x plus five. It's that total distance. And we find the total distance just by adding. So what would my proportion look like? Well, I know that five corresponds to seven, so I can write, here, set up my proportion. So I know that five from my small triangle corresponds to seven from my big triangle. In the same way that x from my small triangle corresponds to this whole side, which we said is x plus five. Again, the common mistake here is to just put a five here, and that would totally get you a wrong answer, but you gotta know it's the whole distance. And now we are going to do all the same steps we did before. We're going to cross multiply and solve. So when I cross multiply, I get 7x equals 5 times x plus 5. So now we're just going to do some algebra. So we get 7x equals 5x plus 25. Subtract the 5x from both sides. And we get the 2x equals 25. I don't know why I boxed it, because we don't, we're not done yet. I still need to divide both sides by 2, divide by 2, and we get that x equals 12.5. And so now we have solved for it. We can even check it. If I was to plug in a 12.5 here, that would make this total distance 17.5. And so we can ask ourselves, is 5 to 7 the same thing as 12.5 to 7.5? So, so what I mean by that is, is 5 over 7, is that equal to 12.5 over 17.5? And you could check this in your calculator. You could do 5 divided by 7 in your calculator. You're going to get some weird decimal. I get like a 0.714. And then you could do 12.5 divided by 17.5, and I get 0.714. So this is true because they all equal 0.714, and then there's a bunch more numbers after that. But they're the same. So we've checked it. We did all of our work correct. Okay, that's it for 7.4. I'll, I'll see you guys on the next video.